Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Well here we have something unusual, I actually bought this about a year ago with intentions to recommission it, maybe put some windows in, but time and workshop space has just got ahead of us and we're just so busy and need the uh, car park space, so here it is for sale. Very super rare, unique, I'm going to run out of uh, superlatives, it's a VW T4 Razorback. I think at the current moment there's only one advertised in the United Kingdom for sale and all they've done is put some side windows in the Razorback bar, a very basic um, settee bed in the back, obviously in better condition this and recommissioned uh, and that's up at £16,000. This is on sale with no reserve. The last owner, I think they've had it from 2005, it was a brewery, and you can see clearly why, with the unique Razorback part, it's got a switch in that corner, uh, and it has rams at the bottom, and it just goes down to the floor. So that part, um, I'll put a link down below, there's another video of the VW commercial units uh, explaining it back in the day when they were new. So this one's 22 years old. I think they were made originally for the Australian market, so they were very popular in this country with well, supplies of vending machines, motorcycle couriers for obvious reasons, uh, as well as people who are carrying heavy items. So uh, this last owner was a brewery and they've had it since 2005. So they had it up till so they had about 16 years. They put it in storage in 2016. So it ran out of MOT in 2016. So it will need recommissioning. So if you bear that in mind, Okay, so a little section, I'll just show you the tailgate part of the uh, Razorback. And obviously this is why it was very popular, this vehicle, with uh, motorcycle delivery people as well as breweries. So we put the ignition on there. And what I've found is a switch here. Now I haven't got a key for the switch, but there's a wire here and it clearly works. So what we do, we just touch that wire. So obviously at some stage you need a new switch. And lo and behold, now you might be able to see on the sides here they've come away a bit so that would benefit from a bit of bodywork or panel beating back into place. But that goes on the floor as you can see, no problem. And then we just reverse that wire on the other contact and that just takes it up into place. And that just works as it should do. So I'll just leave that there. So obviously uh, a new switch there and it's all working as it should do. Okay, I'll take over the camera and continue with the walk around. On sale with no reserve, rather. It's 2.5 turbo diesel. In fact, we'll just start it up now. Uh, it starts up on the button. No warning lights and it's only covered 99,000 miles. There we go. The exhaust is blowing, so the exhaust is shot. No surprise. Nine, yeah, 99,377 miles, obviously showing it wants an inspection, no surprise there, but inside it's lovely, five speed, I've just driven it round my yard and uh, it drives fine, the clutch is fine, there's no judder, obviously the brakes are, are very weak, all the interior is lovely, Not, no rips or tears. I don't even find, I think I can find any marks, very unusual to find a commercial vehicle like this. Must be worth a fair few bob just for the front engine, the engine and gearbox. So those tyres are showing cracking. As you can imagine, it's been in storage for six years. Okay, bodywork, not bad at all for the year. Um, we've got, it's been touched in here. I touched it in under both arches. It's not gone past the swage line, but I touched it in there when I bought it a year ago to protect it. The front has got some uh, stone chips, so you can see there, clearly it's got some stone chips. Not too bad under the windows where they can suffer. Again, okay, just a little bit there, to be fair, that's not even a hole, that'll tea cut out. Uh, I touched it, it's a common thing on the T4s, on the uh, fuel filler cap. No, underneath, underneath the doors, inner sills, they're all right. Spur wheel, 
So clearly it's going to need four new tyres at the very minimum, recommissioning a new exhaust, new pads and discs all round. When I got it, one of the, the driver's mirror was broken. This, just the glass, as it happens, are a later T4 off a camper van in stock. So I just put that one in, but the original one's in the back. So if you wish to uh, look at that, that's no problem. The back is fiberglass. Uh, a little mark there, scuff there. It's bone dry inside and it's had a little bit of a clip where it is. Yes, so someone's hit a roof line there on that corner. That's the worst on the back. A few little battle scars here and there. And you can see clearly the uh, rear near side lens has got a hole in it. So just looking inside. Okay, I'll take over and I'll just demonstrate the Razorback coming down and below. Okay, so you can see the, uh, the floor then has a demonstrate it going to the floor and back up. No, inside a very useful space indeed. So yeah, it wouldn't take much imagination to put some windows in here and make a feature or recommission it and make it back as a van. Just on these, these have buckled in just a little bit. So I'd get a piece of wood there, piece of wood there and a jack and bring those back level into place so they close nice. But it does function and it does go up and down. And there's the correct original driver's mirror. Okay, so I repeat, it's on sale with no reserve it's obviously unroadworthy, it's not been MOT'd for uh, six years. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd, 0798 526 1078 with any questions. Obviously it will need transporting away. Uh, feel free, I have a local guy and I could get you uh, a cheap quote for some recovery. I would say within 50 miles, of L48JG where I'm based will definitely not be a problem. So I'll be able to help you and get that organized for you. Okay, good luck with your bidding. Any questions, you can get me on 0798 526 1078. Thanks for watching folks.